Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel again. In today's video, we are going to look at the mirror list in Arch Linux. The mirror list is the list of servers where you are downloading packages, so we'll have to make sure that it's always up to date and you have the best servers available. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to use the reflector package and also how to make a timer out of the reflector package so that your mirror list can be updated every week. So let's get going. So here we are on the GNOME desktop and the first thing we need to do actually is to know where the mirror list is in our system. So let's navigate there. Let's type in cd slash etsy slash pacman.d and hit enter. And if we type in ls, we'll see we have our mirror list there. So let's have a look at it. Let's type in cat and then mirror list and hit enter. And as you can see here, we have our list of servers. They are listed based on country, basically. So let me clean up the terminal. So one very easy method is actually to cut and paste the lines on top of the list so that those servers are going to be checked first when you download packages. So before we work on the mirror list, it's very important to create a backup. So to do this, we'll type in sudo cp and then mirror list and then the name we want. So in my case, I want to have mirror list.pak for backup and hit enter. Now, if we type in ls, you'll see we have our mirror list and our mirror list backup. In case something goes wrong, we can always restore it. So let's clean up the terminal. And now we can type in sudo nano mirror list and hit enter. Now what we could do is to search for our country. So in my case, I could search for Switzerland. So I'll hit control W and type in the search box Switzerland. And as you can see here, those are the Swiss mirrors. So what we could do here is go down to the section here and cutting all this line by hitting Control K several times here. And then we could move up to the top of the list with Control Y and go here on the top, make some space and hit Control U. And now we have our Swiss servers on top. So this is one way. Now I need to uncomment the servers. So I'll just remove the hashtag here by all of them and then hit Control O and enter to save the file and Control X to exit the editor. And now I could run sudo pacman dash s y y y to synchronize again the database and hit enter. And it's working fine. So this is one very simple way on how to update the mirror list, but there is a better way. And that's by using a package called reflector. We need to install this first. Reflector basically finds the mirror based on parameters you define and puts them in the mirror list. So let me first clean up the terminal and go back to the home directory here. And let's install reflector by typing in sudo pacman dash s reflector and hit enter accept the installation by hitting enter and there you go so we could type in now reflector dash dash help and hit enter and we'll see a list of options here for reflector so i encourage you definitely to go ahead and have a look at those and see what you want to use i'm going to give you an example what i use very often so i clean up the terminal first and to create a list of servers based on parameters you define, we'll type in now sudo reflector. Then the first thing I want to do is to define the first country. So in my case, it's Switzerland. So I'll type in dash C for country and then type Switzerland. Then I want to define also a second country in Germany in this case. So I'll type in again dash C and Germany. The next parameter I want to define is the age. So since how many hours this server has been updated so i'll type in dash a for age and i'll define a 12 hours time span here that's enough for me then the next parameter is going to be the protocol so i want to have also servers which have https protocol and http so i'll type in first dash p for protocol and then https and also dash p http i could define also ftp if i wanted to but i don't need to do this right now then the next parameter is the dash dash sort parameter and I want to be able to sort these servers based on their speed. So as option, I'll put in here rate, which is going to be defining the servers based on speed. And the last parameter we need to define is the save parameter. So I'll type in dash dash save because we need to tell reflector where to save this information. And we know it has to be saved in the mirror list. So we'll type in here slash Etsy slash pacman dot D slash mirror list. And then we just hit enter. And there you go. Now let's go back to our mirror list. So let's type in cat slash Etsy slash pacman 
dot slash mirror list and hit enter and as you can see here now we have a list of mirrors defined on the parameters we specified before so we see also on top of the file here it's made from reflector based on switzerland and germany ages 12 protocols sorting and the saved information and those are our servers so i see here the first server is a swiss server here the second one as well third and fourth as well and then we have some german servers here so let me clean up the terminal and this is one way on how to actually update the servers based on the parameters you define now this can be done manually or can be done also automatically by using a package from the aur called reflector timer the problem with reflector timer is that at the moment can be used only with one country so if you want to have only servers from one country you can go ahead and install reflector dash timer from the aur and follow the instructions on the wiki on how to activate that but i want to have actually servers on two countries at least so i cannot use that at the moment so to make this process automatically we need to create first a systemd service and then a systemd timer so let's create the service first so let's first navigate to this directory let's type in cd slash etsy slash systemd slash system and hit enter and type in ls We'll see we have some files here, but we need to create actually our reflector service. So to do this, I'll type in sudo nano reflector dot service and hit enter. So we need to divide this reflector service in three parts. So let's type in first the first square bracket and we'll type in unit, which is the first part and close the square bracket. And then we'll enter the description parameter. So we'll type in description equal and you can put here the text you want in my case i'm gonna call it pacman mirror list update and then let's go down to the second line and we need to put the wants parameter equal network dash online dot target this basically means that for this service to run internet is needed and then the next parameter is also the after parameter equal the same thing network dash online dot target and then let's move down to the next line and make a space here the next section is the service section so we'll type again the square bracket and enter service and close the square bracket go down to the line and the first parameter is the type parameter so we'll type in type equal and we type one shot on the next line we put our execution parameter which is exec start equal slash user slash bin slash reflector this is basically the directory where the reflector program is and then we give the parameters we gave before to reflector so in my case i want to have first switzerland as a country so i'll type in dash c and then switzerland the second country again dash c germany in my case then i want to have the age so again dash a and the age is 12 hours and the protocols so the first one is https so i'll type in dash p for protocol and then https and the second protocol again dash p http then the dash dash sort option again we want to sort this by download speed so the parameter is rate and then we need to save this information so we'll type in dash dash save and then our mirror list directory so slash etsy slash pacman dot d slash mirror list then let's go down another two spaces and enter the last part here of the service, which is the install section. So we'll type the square bracket and type install. Close the square bracket here. On the next line, we will type in required by equal multi-user.target. So it basically means the machine has to be up and running with an internet connection for this to install. And then we hit Ctrl O and enter to save the file and Ctrl X to exit the editor. Now let's type in again ls and we'll see we have our reflector service here ready. So now we can start the reflector service and as soon as we start it, the mirror list is going to be updated instantly. So let's do this by typing in sudo systemctl start reflector dot service and hit enter. And the sudo password and hit enter and it's done so let's have a look again at our mirror list one more time and let's type in cat slash etsy slash pacman 
dot e slash mirror list and it enter we'll scroll up to the top of the list here and as you can see the mirror list was generated one minute ago this is utc time i am utc.1 this is utc time so it was performed correctly and we can clean up the terminal now if we would be enabling this service the list is going to be basically updated every time we boot the machine for me this is a little bit too much so i want to create actually a timer which runs this command every week so we are still in our system directory here under systemd and we can create the reflector timer so let's type in sudo nano reflector dot timer and hit enter and again we need to create a few sections in here so the first one again is the unit so we'll type in square bracket and then unit closing the square bracket the next line we'll type in the description so i'll type in description equal and you can call it whatever you like and i'll call it reflector weekly timer for example and then go down two lines here and then open the next section which is the timer section so we'll open the square bracket here and type in timer closing the square bracket and the first option is on calendar equal now we can define basically the day that we want to run the timer in my case i want to run it every monday so i'll type in mon and then a space asterisk dash asterisk dash asterisk then a space and then seven colon zero zero colon zero zero so i want to run it every monday at seven in the morning or as soon as the computer starts up then on the next line we'll type in randomize delay sec equal 15 hours and on the last line we'll go persistent equal true then we move down and create the last section which is the, again square bracket install close the square bracket and the last line we'll type in wanted by equal timers dot target and then we just hit Control o and enter to save the file and Control x to exit the editor and the last step is to start the timer so that it's going to be started and every week it's going to be running this command so we'll type in sudo system ctl start reflector dot timer and hit enter the sudo password again and hit enter and now your reflector command is going to run every week and you'll have always the up-to-date mirrors in your mirror list. So there you go guys, this is how you can update your mirror list with reflector. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please hit the like button below and sub to the channel if you haven't already. Subs really helps us out guys. And if there is anything specific you want me to cover or you have any questions or you have any tips or tricks about the mirror list, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.